Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We're going to be jumping in again. I'm going to grab the shotgun here just because it's here. We're going to get some more soul coins for it. We're going to go through, see if we can get some new unlocks. I'll also buy myself a new hat as I always do. And let's see what we got going on here. Another flower. Aren't they lovely? A gift. Ooh, lots of stuff. The chance machine. That sounds rather interesting. Frog leg and the bursting soul. Okay, let's see what we got going on with you. Okay, so we got one thing here. I do need to start getting some of these visual upgrades at some point. I'd be interested to get those. But as we keep unlocking these, I kind of want to unlock these first. We got the chance machine on a gamble HP in hopes of getting what's inside. Hell yes. That sounds rather interesting. We'll go for that. Um, and yeah, we'll gamble on some hats here. See what we can get. I really want to try and get the frog hat. I don't know if there's any particular hat I'd want to stick with. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm sure there's some really wacky ones that I haven't even seen yet. Uh, let's see what we get this time around. We get ourselves the contestant hat. Mm, not feeling that one. Give me something. Give me something a little spicier. A little spicier. Do you know what? Bunny ears will do me. Bunny ears will do. They're quite cute. Right. Let's uh, let's go and buy some items here and see what he has for us, the prisoner. Quite a lot of luck. We had a legendary there. We might want to grab that. Let's see what that is. The legendary is somewhere. Winged boots. Okay, let's grab winged boots. See what they're like. And then we'll go with... Hmm. Let's go with frog leg as well. See what that's like. Because that could be like extra jump height. Uh, and we'll jump in. Winged boots might already be extra jump height. So we might have crazy high jump height here. So we're on shard 7. We confirm. We'll grab that. Increase fire rate but decrease accuracy. Ooh. Increase your range and make you shoot an additional bullet backwards. Do you know what? Let's take three curses right off the bat to go in for all of those. I think that could be quite fun. Three curses off the bat is a little saucy, but I do actually kind of like having curses. So let's just go for this. We're going to get... Um, let's go with Toxic Wastes. Fine. Collecting pickups using your chain is annoying, but fine. Less soul drops. Enemies might best projectiles. That's fine. And... I'm actually going to take the lower damage multiplier. It's not very good, but we'll take it. So, we got ourselves gained two additional dashes and an extra jump. Wow. Increase your speed, jump high, and luck. Okay, that's really good. This this could be crazy. Getting the extra dashes and jumps is pretty mental. It's going to be kind of hard to get used to. I'll tell you that for sure, but... Okay, secret rooms here. Nice. Oh, God. The, the lowered accuracy here is a... Uh, a little saucy. Wait, do we th we fire a full shotgun blast out of our back? That's amazing. I didn't expect it to be a full shotgun blast. Oh, you you can't do this to me, game. I will gamble my life away. There you go. That's enough for me. Do you know what? No, we got a shield. We got a sh okay, let's take a point five to make sure we can get our um. Make sure we can at least get our chest. Oh God. Okay, I'm risking it quite heavily here, but that's fine. I don't want to die because I just spent quite a lot of my uh, hard-earned... Oh, God. Quite a lot of my hard-earned um, tickets on this run, but it is what it is, I guess. I think maybe the curses I took probably weren't the best choice. Okay, so we can get a, take a curse for an item here. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm actually really in for a high curse run here. And we got a really good one, too. Tesla coil with all the stuff we've got going on right now. It's incredible. Um, okay, we'll take that. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Like a little web every time we fire. Um, creates bullets from your boots while walking. Um, your bullets orbit around you. Yes, baby. We created a very good run for ourselves here, if you don't know what's going on. Uh, that doesn't matter at all. Let's take that. Wow. <laughs> Instantly got one of the best synergies in the entire game. I got hit straight away there. I don't even know what hit me. I'm really worried right now because this guy teleports onto me. Okay, thank God. Give me some soul. Oh. Increase your damage. Thank God. I was really worried I was going to insta-die there. Got a celestial weapon coming up here. Okay, I don't know what shrine this is. 
What shrine is this? Generosity. Go for it. Wow. That is generous. That is very generous indeed. I'm going to take the Celestial Weapon rather than our chest here. For the hopes it gives me HP. Because I'm in a bit of a tough spot right now. And we also got a good one. It gave us damage. Honestly, this one's really good because doesn't it? Yeah, it fires extra when you're using the shotgun. Come here, you little fly. I need to be really careful of the enemies releasing projectiles on death thing. Because I think that could screw me up quite a lot. <laughs> got ourselves an extra key here. But this is a very cursed but very potentially crazy run. Oh my god. How have we got this powerful on floor one? And you know what? We actually do get a chest as well here. Nice. And it's not only a chest, but it's a rare chest. Give us something even crazier. Your bullets split into multiple after being fired. Oh my god. So much curse. Um, like, actually so much curse, but... We got some really crazy stuff going on right now. Really crazy stuff. <laughs> I actually can't fathom how good this run is to start. We do have a hell of a lot of curses, I will say that. Um, we definitely want that. I'll even buy that as well. Yeah, armor here is going to be pinnacle importance. Oh my god. I'm getting so much soul as well. I need to complete these uh, thingy challenges at some point. Um, the little statues in the grove, but I haven't got around to that yet. Okay, denial. I reckon I won't get a flawless on denial here because I've just got to get too close for comfort. But I will do a lot of damage. That is most certainly the truth. Oh, God, I love this this um, Celestial weapon with this guy. It's so good. Okay, we actually got the Flawless, surprisingly. So, I don't know what I want to upgrade here. I really don't. There's so many good things we've got going on right now. But there's definitely some upgrades I want to go for. I'm I'm a little unsure, though. Is this build going to be enough for the, for the final boss? Because it, it could be. It could be, but it might not be. Right, so anything we want to get rid of, first of all. Um, honestly, no. I'm, I'm okay with everything I have here. Right. Um, I think increase our look first. Do that. And then let's go with our range. Speed. That also increases our look. Let's go with that as well. There you go. That'll do me. Okay. Hopefully a bit of range should help us here. Having the orbit a little further away from us, you know. That was close. Get that going. Probably want to try and find secret rooms here if we can. It shouldn't be actually that hard. We kill it, clear rooms so, so quick that the souls disappearing faster thing is like no problem whatsoever. Look for our crystal door if we have it. There it is. Beautiful once more. Got our crystal door here so we can grab our key. We're on full health as well, which is even better. Means we can guaranteed grab it. Lovely. And that will give us access to Calm Calderum if we want to go that way. Increase damage for each offering. Removes curses and increased shot speed. That's so good. That's so good. We just removed a bunch of curses. That is like the sort of item I needed there. That's the exact sort of item I was looking for. And then we got ourselves a challenge room as well. I'm hoping for an item rather than anything else from this, but I would take shields. Oh, that one. The split into projectiles thing is one that we gotta get rid of. If possible. 
That one will be super nice to remove. See, the problem with this is we're killing so many enemies. And it doesn't really... It's not actually a good, a good thing to kill this many enemies. Just more chance to get hit. We just need to survive for a certain amount of time. Item, please. We didn't get an item. We did at least get a key, though. Another key is pretty good on this floor because there's a lot of chests. I just stood right in the middle of all of those and got hit. And again. I just stopped getting hit. It's not a good idea. It's not for you, Jen. Oh. Chest or cleanser curse? I'm picking cleanser curse. I'm sorry, but I need to. Can I do it again? Didn't get rid of the one I wanted to get rid of, but better than nothing. Found a secret room here as well, nice. Hey, a full heart, that is so good. What do you have in store for me? Ooh, a two key chest. Got a key back. And we got... Get some... That's actually really good. Nice, that was really good. Double... That's my first double key chest, that. We got rid of so many of our curses. How do we only have two left? <laughs> That's pretty nuts. We did really well to get rid of that many so fast. What you got for us? Dashing through enemies, that's at least um, Relic Hammer fodder. I mean, we do have a lot of dashes, so we could make use of that. But it's not really my style. I right, got no other rooms here, right? We don't have any keys anyways, we used them all. Okay, secret room there, nice. Okay, good. I love the fact that you can get secret rooms so much faster when you've got this much damage and fire rate and everything that we got going on here. It's just, oh, everything about this is beautiful. Okay, this guy has hit me many a time before and we have very low accuracy. Uh, sorry, very low range. But I think we should kill him pretty damn fast. So I'm not super... That was a really good shot. I say it was a really good shot. It was just a really bad play by me. I just, like, stood in place pretty much. But As I said, this guy hits me a lot. I got hit three times in this fight. He always does. Double shield is brilliant, though. Do we want to offer an item to you? I mean... What does removing scented candle do? Now, it, I mean, it can't give us that curse's back, right? Yeah, I don't really care about shot speed. I don't know what it gave me there, but... I don't really care about shot speed, so... Let's get rid of that, I guess. I don't... I, yeah, I didn't even look what stats it gave me, but... Still, right. So get rid of the dashing thing. Oh, we can't. Bullet spawn from your aim reticle instead of your gun. How does that even work with this? Enemies get poisoned upon spawning. I'm going to try this out and see what happens. It might not even do anything. I don't think it does anything. I had to try it, though. It, it sounded interesting. Potentially interesting, at least. Right. Keep it going. There's a secret room there as well. God damn it, I got hit again. Hey, beautiful. I like that. And full soul once more. This is just crazy. I can get a free relic upgrade or a chest. I think I'd probably rather go for my chest. I'd rather have more items. Because I could get a bad item and just trash it. 
Uh, Hermes boots increase walking speed for a short time after dashing. That's actually really good. And we got a synergy. The synergy decrease dash cooldown. Nice. Right, anything nice for me here? Each kill increases your damage for the room. Spawn three to five pickups. Okay, nah, we're good. The pinata is good, but I'd rather just get my chaos chest. Take that instead. Damn it. Did not mean to get hit there. It's okay, though. I'm only using up shields. I don't really mind when it's just shields. Oh, God. That guy had it in for me, but I got him. Probably wasted a lot of soul there. Damn, it's a shame we can't go for our shop because the shop gives us refunds. Secret room there. Probably our uh, mirror room there. Nice. Could be our normal secret room, but it's probably our mirror room. It's, I'm not, it's a regular secret room. Okay. We got two fails in a row. If we get two fails in a row, I'm kind of like, okay, that's me. God damn, we get so many damage upgrades as well. I don't know if the damage we have uh, affects our Tesla damage, but I think it does. Okay, good. Another pickup. I think this is all of our luck that's helping with these pickups. So much armor to go at. Yeah, diggity damn. And one to the boss already. Of course, the Cam Calderum schools are already filled. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to take this. I, I know that we've already got two bad curses, but... Do you know? Enemies, uh, higher cooldown. Actually, that's fine. Okay, I actually think we should take this, because the speed down's huge, but we've already got a lot of dashing and movement speed increase things anyways. So I don't think it, we're going to notice it all that much. I lost the flawless because I forgot he dashes to the middle. That's just silly of me. It's fine, but... Oh, two keys is great. That was just kind of silly of me, though. Right. Let's go through. Okay, so... I think it's the... Yeah. We do, we're just going to get rid of the shade cloak. That's fine to get rid of. And then... Definitely one on that. Let's go for another. Let's go for one of them. I'm trying to get rid of all my HP here. There you go. Just so I can guarantee that I can get the uh, extra key piece. We've already got good HP without it, so I'm fine with it. I doubt we'll be getting the frog this time around. I found a secret room here as well. Let me just quickly check there's no other... No, I don't think my uh, thingy room's here. That's perfect, thank you. Oh, that's another NPC unlock. Nice. That's... Yeah, okay. I didn't really want that, but that actually kind of helps because we're not on a full HP there. I don't know who, what NPC this will be. Hello, hello. Oopsie. Did I not? There you go. Who we got? Who we got? I'm interested to find out. Over here, dearie, it seems I've gone and gotten myself trapped. If you could help me escape this dilemma, I promise to repair you kind of with some lovely knitting. Very nice. Still not found our crystal door yet. I really hope I didn't miss it. There's a very strong chance I did. I like the fact that I'm just like under the water electrifying everything. Unfortunately, I can't even bother going to the chest. 
I can't offer anything to you either. Oh, there it is. My crystal doll room's here. We found it. Good, good. There's our key. Thank you. Right, it's actually finally start healing up now. Rebuilding our HP a little bit. And there's a frog there. Another frog there. I'm surprised we haven't scared these frogs yet, you know. We're doing well on that front, somehow. I guess. I don't really care about it, but I, I guess I'll take it. Increase shop prices, whatever. Try and get all this soul. Good, good. We'll go for our chest room here as well. Why not? I think we might have a chance at getting the Frog King here. You know. What you got for us, Chesty? Increased rate of fire when at full HP. That's really good. Another curse, though. My god. Status effects? Yeah, that's fine. We're not applying status effects right now anyways. We got the key guy. Apparently you can get a free key in his room sometimes. Someone said bump him. I don't know what bump him means, but we'll, we'll try it. Okay. Yeah, come in here. Ah, there you go. I like that look. Ah, I see, I see. So if you're swaying back and forward. Maybe there's like a certain level of swayiness you've got to get to him. Apparently he doesn't always drop one. There you go. Thank you very much for that tip. I'm guessing I can't get any more. Increase the chance to find pickups after clearing a room, or uh, soul torches pay up with more soul and increase your shot speed. I'm just going to take the key, to be honest. I'm just going to be happy with the key. Oh, I upset the frog. I'm sorry, frog. I didn't see it was there for a second. I didn't see it was there. Bouncy ball sounds good. Damn, we would have had the frog this room if we, if we hadn't have scared that boy. Another one for us, another heal. Hell, there's a little low going into the last floor, but I think we're okay. Let's just not. Tr let's just try not to spend too much more. Get ourselves a curse chest here. More curse for us is whatever. Increase shot speed of enemies uh, while in the room. Slowly lose some soul. That's fine. Bosses start with less HP. That's actually pretty good. It's yet again corrupted, though. The curse get cursed. Toxic waste is fine. Okay. This guy tends to hit me a lot, especially with low range shotty. He might have a bit of a hard time. But we should kill him exceedingly quickly. Ah, there you go. I got hit already. Not not even through any fault of my own there, really. I just physically couldn't see the shots coming at me because there's so much crap on screen. As to technically, that is fault of my own, I suppose, because I, I am the one that, uh, that allowed my run to get this crazy. I've unfortunately taken quite a lot of damage, but he's pretty much dead no matter what he does next. I did take a lot of damage there. We got a shield, which is really nice. We got two shields. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to heal up here. I don't think I'm going to take either of these items unless they're real good. Unless they are, like, real, real good. I, I don't think I'll be taking either. 
Chance to fully heal you up on taking a fatal hit is okay. Increase your shot speed and bullet range. Yeah, neither of those are good enough. I'm going to stick with the health I've got and just try and gain health throughout this floor. My shot speed, yeah, my shot speed, my fire rate's so high when I'm at full HP here. Oh, another shield as well. Hell yes. Loving that. What, what even hit me then? That was cheeky as hell. Shine of generosity again. Shooting enemies reduces dash cooldown. Whatever. Fuck yeah. I'll check this out. Why not? I'm here. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. I think I'm going to take this just because that's a bit more of a guarantee of some some usefulness. But the other one it could have been good. I just I was a bit unsure. Lowering our fire rate by a lot could be a huge mistake. Can't even offer anything to this dude. I'm sorry. Got us some damage. Nice. Need to heal up all this damage before we get to the boss, really. Mini chest room here, nice. That was close. Mini chest room's really good. What, what's our other room, actually? Ah, oh, full chest room. Okay, we can only take the mini one, so I'm fine with that. Got some more damage, up to 110%. That's pretty good. Losing shields rapidly here. Would rather not be, but it is what it is. We should be getting our key room. There we go. There's our key door room. Oh my gosh. Taking just really dumb damage right now. Damage, damage that I should be able to avoid, but just can't. But our health is actually pretty good. So we go in here, so our key should open the chest now. It did. And we get a note. When I pull this book from my pocket, its first entry mirrors my thoughts to the letter. I know it seems unbelievable, but I'm pretty sure I wrote these words, even if I can't seem to remember doing it. Hmm. So that was just for a bit of lore, but interesting nonetheless. We're on our way to the last boss. I'm hoping to get another full heart before we get into the boss fight, but... I honestly don't know how plausible that's going to be. Especially with these cog guys. These cog dudes are a pain. Okay, that armor is incredibly timed. We can't even get into that shop anyways. Of course I'll take another curse. Why the hell wouldn't I? And we got an item that's nearly useless. That's just going to give us... Um, Really slowed down enemy speed when we're at 0 0.5 hearts, but it, it armor also counts towards that, so we have to be at like actual really low health for that to even count. Okay, this attack always gets me, so let's stay out the way of that. Wow. <laughs> that was a very quick kill on this dude. I'm hoping it'll be similar for this guy as well, but you know how it is with the saw blades and such. He likes to throw them at me, literally constantly, all of the time. That hit me? Wh wh which part of that hit me? Stop it with the saw blades, dude. Stop it with the saw blades! Please! How does the... Oh, I've been hit way too much times this fight. Considering how much damage we're doing to him, I got hit way too many times that fight. That's so frustrating. That should have been way easier than it was. Thank you for the keys, which are useless. 
By the way, I'm eating cheetahs. I apologize. <laughs> I've got them here next to me and they are just delicious. We don't get cheetahs that often in the UK, so when I get them, I go hard. Okay, we got our mystery room again. I still don't really know what to do with this room. I've got some hints. I know it's something to do with the mirror room, but otherwise I don't know. I, it's definitely not the prism I eat, I know that. Okay, we should get enough soul throughout here if we don't get hit a lot to actually be at good health by the time we get to the boss. Because the enemies in here, they're, they're quite numerous. Get the spikes there, let's be careful. Good. I, I feel like I'm dashing and it's just not doing anything. Good. Chest room there. Do you know what? I'm going to go in it, but only to get some soul. Unless it's a rare chest. Then I'll open it. It's not. Some soul and some damage. Nice. I just want to get as many hearts as I can, because I know for a fact I'm going to get hit a lot in second phase. And we are, we are absolutely killing these rooms. Just destroying them. This guy's an elite. We got a secret room there. It's fine about getting hit because he's going to give us a ton of soul, anyways. Like I said as well, I got a secret room here. Ooh, hello. What the hell is this? Flesh weak, need power. You have strong will? Yes. Do you have any items I don't want that I can offer you? Um, stopwatch is fine. We'll give you stopwatch. Artifact. Looking for different. I don't know what this is, and I don't think I have what he wants. I'm sorry, whatever you are. Strange creature. More damage. I'd be very happy if we can fill up this heart before the boss. Proving to be quite difficult, as you can see, because I'm getting hit. Just a ton. Just a ton, as I say. Don't think we're going to quite manage it now. We only get half a heart on the boss fight. Not too full. Unless this room is just full of enemies, which it unfortunately was not. Damn. I got close, but didn't quite fill up the heart. That should still be enough health, though. It's enough. I'm so sick of this place. The way it cuts, um, the way it's caught, the way it calls out my memories. All I'm left with is this constant, meaningless pain. Prisoner of memories. Sometimes I, I, like, don't get hurt by that dash, and other times I do, and I'm not really sure what causes it. Remember, though, she's a three-phase fight, so... Mm, do you know what? I might have been a little hasty in saying we're going to beat this. I'm having a really hard time not getting hit by her.
third phase does only have um, half HP, so... At least on that front, it's just a little weaker. The dash got me again. Right near the end as well. And yeah, you get a bunch of soul, but you get no opportunity to heal after this fight, which I just think is rude. Just like mocking me. Okay, we got her. We got four hearts going into the last fight. We'll kill her pretty quick, but actually, do you know what? The patch did up her HP the last fight, so the most recent patch. So it might be significantly harder than I remember. It has a lot more HP. I know that for a fact. Sorry about the uh, screen going off for a second there. One sec. Okay. Let's see how this goes. It could be pretty good. It could be pretty bad. I'm going to get hit a lot, that's for sure. Oh, she started with 20% less HP, though. That's good. I didn't think that would actually work on her. Oh, I forgot you did that. Oh, how do I dodge this? How exactly do I dodge this? I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're good. That has a lot more HP now, though. Even this really OP build took a good amount of time to kill her. And we only just made it through. I just need to learn to dodge some of these attacks. The attacks are very hard to dodge. But there you go. We make our way up to shard 8. Shard 8. And we go blap. Shoot it right in the face. And there you go. There's our run done. Beautiful. Another bunch of soul coins ga gathered. And we now have unlocked the next version of the shotgun, which I hear is pretty cool. So I'm excited to try it out. Away he goes. Let's quickly check out what our next shard is. Apparently shard 10 is where things really start to get pretty brutal. So I'm interested to see. I mean, basically it's going to be like double amount of enemies or something. Shard A, increase enemy HP 10%. Okay, that's not so bad. We can deal with that. Um, but yes, we can now buy the next version of the shotgun, which I'm going to do straight away. Um, a gun variant that shoots a cluster of bullets. Is that... Is that any different? Okay, it does shoot more bullets. And I think we'll probably have less damage. Okay, I can, I can get behind that. Oh, hello, who are you? Ah, uh, thank you, little one. What did you, um, did you say your name was? Benjamin, perhaps? Forgive me, my hearing isn't what it used to be. My god. That is indeed a rare hat. The cowboy hat! BD1P is going to be so jealous. I got the cowboy hat. Baby... You don't even know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.